uploading multiple photos is just like op uploading a single photo. We just need to actually track multiple photos. So what I'm going to do mostly is just going to be changes to state. So instead of photo, we'll go ahead and change this to uh, photos, which is then going to be an array. We'll default this to an empty array. Uh, and handle upload, let's go ahead and change the actual uh, resetting of state. So here where we've got the progress and actually resetting photo, we'll then go here and we can just set this to photos to be an empty array. Continuing down to where we've got photo, um, here in handle choose photo, basically what we want to do here, actually we'll just comment this line out, we can say we'll use the async version of set state. So first argument is going to be uh, function. It's going to take state as a callback. And we can then go ahead and return photos. And what we want to do is uh, basically extend or deconstruct. I can't remember the correct term, but we want to destructure uh, the existing state.photos array. And then we'll add the new response to that. And that should uh, set this all up correctly. So we've got our photos in there. Then finally down here, what we'll do is set get photos instead. And then we can say photo, we'll just change this to photos dot, whoops, photos dot length is greater than zero. Uh, what we'll want to do here then is actually loop over that. So we can say, actually, Let's just grab this. Okay, since we know photos is always going to be an array, we can actually just say photos.map. We'll get a photo, and then we can just paste what we had cut before. So what's going to happen is we've got photos.map. Uh, that's gonna happen. We'll have the progress, all of that. Uh, what we wanna do here is actually set a key as well. So I'll just set that to the URI because uh, it should be unique between each image. Um, so that should be good. Now let's actually see what happens. So I'll choose a photo. We've got our first photo. Can we get a second one? And we've got our second photo. Uh, so we've got multiple progress and upload. So let's go ahead and pull these out because we don't need them. So what I'll do down here is say photos.length is greater than zero. If that is true, then we'll go ahead and do a react dot fragment. See, it's mostly just going to be UI and state stuff. Um, we can actually go ahead and pull this off of here. Get rid of this react dot fragment up here. Okay, let's see what this looks like. We can choose a photo. Choose a second photo. Okay, cool. Our UI set up. We've got the upload photo and the progress once we do have a photo in here. Now, not quite done. Next thing we need to do is actually uh, go up to our create form data. Basically, this is no longer going to be a, a single photo. It's going to be an array of photos. So let's go ahead and change that to photos. And then what we can do here is just like down below with that dot map, uh, we can go ahead and say, photos dot for each photo. We'll then go ahead and just append a photo. Uh, the way form data works is we can have as many photos as we want. It's basically going to be an array of arrays where each one has a key and then a value within that uh, array. So each append doesn't have to be unique value. Uh, we know our server will accept up to three images uh, on here. So if I save this, let's go ahead and check my images. That's an empty folder. Let's try and upload two images. So we've got one, two, I'll do upload photo. So it says cannot read property for each of undefined. So form data is photos that should be set. So we'll go down to where we're calling it. And we can see, oh, okay, so we're using this.state.photo. It should be this.state.photos. Try this again. And a second time. Upload. All right, we saw the progress. We got the success. 
And then if we look down here in our server, we can see that we do have both of these images, even though one of them is a format VS Code isn't liking. Um, so yeah, that's how we can upload multiple photos. Basically, the setup was the same. We just had to make a slight modification to our create form data outside of just changing our UI a little bit, and we're able to upload multiple photos.